Hey there, folks. It's the morning of day four after getting sick with COVID. Yesterday was definitely the worst day of having COVID. All day long, my head was pounding and it felt like my sinuses just wanted to burst open in my skull. The ringing in the ears was also a very annoying thing to deal with. And it just seemed to keep getting worse and worse. I also had a low-grade fever off and on. But I didn't really feel any chills like you normally get when you have a fever with a cold or a flu. Something else that kind of shocked me after reading all of your comments on the videos is how many of you out there have already had COVID and have gotten over it. And speaking of comments, Frank Britz left a comment saying, me and my wife had this in June of 2021. She was in the hospital for a week. Do not vape less, especially if you use nicotine, even if you have to set an alarm. I think it helped me. Remember, get vitamin C, zinc, and vitamin D. Then he goes on to talk about using a pulse oximeter and an oxygen concentrator to keep your O2 sats above 90. I hopefully don't need to get to that point. And it doesn't feel like I'm going to because well, we'll get to that later. Anyway, I replied back to him about how I've read the research papers from France where they already have this ongoing clinical trial that is studying the efficacy of nicotine in preventing COVID infections. When COVID first came out and this became international news, this study made the press. And I was at the time researching all this stuff for the news. So I researched what are the foundations of why they would use nicotine to treat COVID and how and why this might actually work. And I'm not a doctor, but I do understand science and I understand the pathophysiology at play here. And it makes perfect sense. It's also the reason every morning since realizing that my wife was sick, I eat a navel orange. It's the best source of vitamin C, fiber, and natural sugar to start the day with. But what I haven't been doing is making sure I got the rest of the nutrients I had and I needed to have. I hadn't taken any extra zinc or extra vitamin D. In fact, I don't even usually drink milk after learning about the China study and how milk protein plays a role in turning on and turning off cancer cells. But I digress. Long story short, I switched from my DIY OG Blue to the commercial OG Blue that's got six milligram in it. Essentially, that was my way of compensating for my decrease in vaping. And later on in the day, I also took a multivitamin to make sure that my body had all the nutrients it needs to fight off this virus. You know what? The increased nick has been a miracle for my sinuses. Within an hour of vaping the real OG Blue, my sinuses stopped being a pressure cooker inside my skull, and I felt better, which in turn had me vaping more. Vaping has saved my life again. Last night, I got a really good night's sleep. And today, I'm starting to feel better. The ringing in the ears has also gotten better. And sometimes it disappears altogether. My wife is now past day six and has returned back to work. She's still not 100%. But according to the Board of Health and the CDC, she's eligible to go back to work since she was previously vaccinated. And it's been more than 24 hours since her fever broke. For me, day four starts off with a low-grade fever. My sinuses definitely feel better, but I'm not out of the woods yet. I truly want to thank all of you for your wonderful comments, your love, and your support during this bout of COVID. It's really kept my spirits up, and I know in a day or two, this whole thing is going to be in the history books. So until tomorrow, I'm going to keep on vaping and wish all of you a fantastic day.